Alright, so as most of us know by now, the Demon Slayer manga concluded some time ago. Yet despite this, of course we do still receive Demon Slayer content in various forms from time to time. From the incredibly successful Mugen Train theatrical film to the anime second season. Rengoku's first mission side story we covered in a video previously or even the Hinokami Chronicles video game. There is plenty of Demon Slayer content to still look forward to and enjoy. Now on that note, the ending of the Demon Slayer manga is an interesting one. Rather than conclude the series with the characters we all know and love, instead, we receive a look into the lives of their descendants in modern Japan. A world that, thanks to our heroes, was finally free from demons. One wherein many of these descendants and otherwise also happen to be the reincarnations of our large cast. What was, interestingly enough, a slice of life story. One that would be further continued sometime after with an expanded version we have also covered on the channel. Now to many, this shift from action to slice of life may have come across as sudden and or unexpected. However, I am here to let you know that it is actually quite the contrary. You see, all throughout the publication of the Demon Slayer story, the creator, Koyoharu Gotoge, had an ongoing alternative reality slice of life story in which the many characters of the Kimetsu no Yaiba world lived in modern Japan and revolved around what is known as Kimetsu Academy. This AU received a short form anime miniseries, a four part Valentine's Day anime miniseries, and is now also having the designs of certain characters featured in the aforementioned Hinokami Chronicles video game. Game. And now, with this video, we will be going over the lives of these various characters as Gotoge really seemed to enjoy expanding on this world and provided as many details as possible. Now to begin, we have Tanjiro, a hard-working high school student of Kimetsu Academy that wakes up each and every morning at 3 a.m. As opposed to being charcoal sellers like in the world of demons we know, here, the Kamado family runs a local bakery especially known for making great bread, and so every morning, Tanjiro diligently makes about a thousand loaves, which should also make it clear that they are pretty successful at this as well. Now, with their initial concept of this, Gotoge expressed that Tanjiro was a boy who continued to break the rules. However, it wasn't until much later that they clarified what this truly meant. Tanjiro was for the most part a rather rule abiding student, however, he would break the rules every day even still on account of his earrings as earrings were not allowed on school grounds. But the reason he wore them regardless was because they were a memento from his late father. As in both worlds, Tanjiro's father passed on during the boy's adolescence. Moving on we have Nezuko, a middle school girl that always has a loaf of french bread in her mouth because again, their family does own a bakery. Kometsu Academy has both middle and high school students, and so, because Nezuko has a hard time waking up in the morning at all, similarly to her deep slumbers as a demon, Tanjiro straight up carries her to school each and every day. Just like how he'd lug her around for the majority of the series proper. In this world, the other Kamado siblings are alive and presumably attend primary school with the exception of little Rokuta, who is still being tended to by their mother. Up next, we have Zenitsu of the Disciplinary Committee. A position he never really wanted but is made to keep regardless, but because of it, he lives in fear of the various delinquents he is made to check at the gates of the school in order to make sure they meet the dress code. In fact, doing so is how he met Tanjiro as again, earrings are against the rules, but to this Tanjiro would just deeply apologize but simply being polite about it wasn't going to give him a pass. But when Tanjiro expressed that they are the last memento he has of his father, Senitsu would agree to look the other way, regrettably. Inosuke in this world has a somewhat similar backstory to the one we are most familiar with as he was raised by boars which managed to garner him some media attention and fame. These days he lives in a foster home with old lady Hisa as his mother. And if you remember in the Demon Slayer story, Inosuke was very touched by Hisa's providence of food. Now Inosuke isn't exactly the scholastic type, and so the only thing he brings to school is his lunch. He doesn't wear shoes, and he wears short sleeves all year round. He too tends to break the rules by wearing his boar headed mask and or running through the halls. Yu Tomioka is a PE teacher that is unsmiling and comes across as like a drill sergeant much to the dismay of the parent teacher association who has issued many complaints as a result. The problem being so pressing in fact that the board of education may need to step in. Sabito is a member of the kendo club, Makomo is a part of the brass band, and Urokodaki is a school janitor. 
Ruyayaki was the winner of the Cat's Cradle tournament and as a result became pretty popular. This earned him a special feature in the Kometsu Town newspaper and further resulted in a lot of online attention on account of his cute yet distinctive facial moles. Kyogai is Kometsu Academy's music teacher, but because he has his students study very old and traditional songs, they're pretty much unable to sing modern songs properly. Susamaru is the leader of the ballet troupe, and Yahaba is the captain of the archery club and son of a tofu maker. The ferocious wind Hashira Sanemi in this world is Sanemi, the strict math teacher. Feeling constricted around his neck causes him stress, and so he always leaves his shirt unbuttoned. He doesn't even button up for special occasions. Once upon a time, a student of his actually said they wouldn't need math later on in life, and he threw them out of the window like in Smash Bros. He's very kind to women, children, and the elderly, but generally speaking, kids start crying at the sight of him. His younger brother Genya is the ace of the marksman club, which ties into how he uses guns and such in the main series. Now he is apparently really bad at math, and so his elder brother is always upset with him. He actually won a marksmanship competition, and when he got the award, his brother broke it, called it worthless, and told Genya he should study math more. This left Genya shaking on stage in front of all of his peers, and from this, despite being so big and otherwise intimidating, his classmates began to sympathize with him, and so he ended up with more friends. Now his hairstyle is actually against school rules, but when he shaved his head to follow the rules, his shots stopped hitting their mark because he was unable to sense the wind with his hair, and so he was given special permission to keep it how he likes it. Shinobu Okocho is a high school third year student, and member of the pharmacology club, and a champion of the fencing club. With that, she has a lot of extracurricular activities and keeps rather busy. She's even friendly with the flower arrangement club because their club room is so close. The flower girls are first year middle school students that are trying their hardest to get a pharmacology club for the younger kids as well. Aoi Kanzaki is a high school second year student and member of the flower arrangement club. Her family owns a diner which she helps out a whole lot. Shinobu's elder sister Kanae actually graduated from the school. In all of the three years she attended, she was considered to be one of the school's top three great beauties and was disgustingly popular amongst both boys and girls. Even people who envied or spoke poorly of her looked love-struck when actually speaking to her. Otherwise, she can be pretty quiet and mysterious. Kanao is a second year high school student that was taken in by the Kocho family. Because she and Kanae look similar, people tend to mistake them for sisters and on account of the resemblance, she is known to be one of the school's three great beauties. And on account of her spectacular physical abilities, she is often scouted or asked for help, so she tends to be pretty busy. But at the same time, she is in the flower arrangement club and would actually prefer to prioritize that, and so she has a tough time. Kyojiro Rengoku is Kometsu Academy's history teacher. He is very passionate about education and has an incredibly strong love for history. So much so that he tends to throw students around during class and has them reenact historic battles. He's pretty popular among the students and at the very least, nobody in Kometsu Academy has a bad grade in history. His father Shinjuro is an instructor at the Kometsu Town Kendo Dojo and has been pretty depressed because the number of students has been decreasing. His mother Ruka teaches a calligraphy class. Her expression is almost emotionless, so many are afraid of her at first. His younger brother Senjuro is a first year middle school student that likes to read but is mostly average at just about everything. Tamiyo Enmu is a major train geek. He continues to do weird things that cause a train to run late, and as a result he has been arrested six times. He isn't sorry about inconveniencing others, everyone hates him, and he has no girlfriend. On one occasion in particular, he insisted on exposing his backside and was subdued by Tanjiro. There is actually another weirdo in town that targets 16 year old girls. There have only been a few instances and no corroborating witnesses, and so he is more or less considered to be an urban legend. Tanjiro believes them to actually be triplets and is investigating. Now from this point in the video, there will be spoilers for some characters yet to truly be featured or appear in the Demon Slayer anime, and so if you are anime only and would like to avoid being spoiled, now is a good time to stop watching. Otherwise, we have more characters to continue talking about. The Sound Hashira Tengen Uzui is in this world, an art teacher whose students call him Gangsta Sensei, as in the past he was a gang leader after all. And apparently, he has a habit of expressing that art is an explosion by literally blowing the classroom up with dynamite. His three wives are known as the beautiful Konoichi lunch ladies. 
Suma works a kiosk and tends to give back the wrong change, Hinatsura is a great cook with a golden palate, and Makio speaks loudly, works fast, and has a quick temper. Next, we have the upper rank 6 Shabana demon siblings, who are Kometsu Academy's most notorious delinquents. They very often get into fights and clash with Tanjiro. Ume is really pretty and so she has a ton of fans that shower her in gifts and even set a school record when 20 boys asked her out in a single day. With this, she is revered to be one of Kometsu Academy's three great beauties. The Tokito twins, one of which in the world of demons is the Miss Tashira, Muichiro, belong to the Shoji Club and are incredibly popular with the girls. And neither of them seem to have noticed just how absurdly athletic they actually are, as in the series proper, we know them to hail from quite the capable bloodline of swordsmen. Yuichiro, the older of the two, is a quick thinker and is good at anything he attempts. In fact, he recently appeared on TV as almost pro-level at chess, but at the same time is he type to freeze up when surprised, and so when the unexpected happens, the younger of the two, Muichiro, is the one to react despite looking so subdued. The love Hashira Mitsuri Karoji is a Kometsu Academy graduate currently attending a local art college. She is really popular with the boys there, but hasn't noticed at all, and so she thinks she needs to start looking for a boyfriend. Her dream is to make people all over the world happy through her art. Here is an example of her work, Big Hand Cat. Hopefully that made you happy. From there we have Upper Rank 5 who oddly enough despite the weird form does exist in this world as well as a pot in the biology lab. Apparently whoever the pot monster's eyes fall upon is subject to endless condescension. But if you ignore its incomprehensible bragging, it will tickle you with all its hands, and so it is very annoying. However, when Miss Kanae joined the staff, sightings of it suddenly stopped, and so it is questioned if she exercised it. Upper rank 4, however, is an old man that cries his eyes out as he drags himself through the school halls. He doesn't look human much at all, and when he sees somebody with a body smaller than his own, he attacks them and steals their stuff. In the past, he tried pulling the same thing on the Tokito twins, and so Muichiro gave him an axe kick to the head, and so that is why the top of his head is so swollen. The stone Hashira Gyome Himejima is a civics teacher. He is so incredibly muscular that people were scared of him at first, but they soon realized that he had a lot of items with cats printed on them, which were incredibly cute, and so this led them to let their guards down. In fact, students often call him father by accident. The serpent Hashira Obana Iguro is a chemistry teacher. As it turns out, he is allergic to women, and so he wears a mask. People even say that he carries that snake around to keep women away. He tends to go to the diner run by Oi's family, but only drinks tea. When students of his get failing grades, he strings them up and fires plastic water bottle rockets at them. Upper rank 3 in this world was thankfully able to live a happy life, having been able to marry a childhood friend of his that lived in a neighboring house he had always promised to marry by the name of Koyuki. Their nicknames for each other are Princess and Lord Hakuji. Now what I'm sure is crazy to many of us is that they are both still high school students and in the handicraft club together. Hakuji being a third year and Koyuki being a first year, but their parents approved and so here they are, a happily married couple. Hakuji is even set to inherit the dojo of his wife's family. Then there is upper rank 2, Doma. Doma is in this world a con man that performs marriages among many other things. He is so notorious in fact that there have even been TV specials about them. He has been part of too many scams to count, but unfortunately, there is never enough evidence to prosecute him. But apparently, there was once an altercation between him and Mitsuri where she believed him to be lying. The former leader of the Demon Slayers, Ubuyashiki Kaguya, is in this world the director of the school board. He is a very wealthy man involved in many ventures, and due to his wide network of connections, a number of people are willing to help him out in whatever he does. A random attacker once sprayed a harmful chemical on him, which is the reasoning behind his facial scarring. Now, there are rumors, however, that this was not so random and was actually because his natural face shared a somewhat twin-like resemblance to Kibitsuji. With the aid of good politicians who are Kometsu Academy alumni, they battle against Kibitsuji and his schemes. Kagaya's wife, Amane, is the school's principal. She is very fond of children and passionate about education. However, the students are a bit afraid of her on account of her rather expressionless face, 
but at the same time, because she is such an enigma, she is actually worshipped by some of them. And together, these two are parents of quintuplets in elementary school. Meanwhile, dominating the political world with his evil charisma and ever loyal subjects, there is Kibitsuji Muzan, who wants all of Japan under his command. Rumor has it that he was a scion of the Ubuyashiki clan's branch family, making them somewhat distant relatives. Now, Kibitsuji is brought great frustration when his evil schemes are thwarted on account of the intervention of the Ubuyashikis. As a result, he has many spies infiltrating several places as he plots to destroy their connections and assets. Oh, and he has a fan club. Zenitsu's adopted brother, Kaigaku, is one of Kibitsuji's spies that has infiltrated Kimetsu Academy as a third year senior. Meanwhile, Nakime has infiltrated the school as a vice principal and does not get along with the principal at all. Kibitsuji also has a secretary known as Kokushibo, whose real name and age are unknown. But with that being said, he is so large that he's often mistaken to be a bodyguard. Rumor has it that he was a member of the American Special Forces and can kill a person with his bare hands. But yeah guys, that is everything we have from Gotoge when it comes to the Kometsu Academy AU. I hope you enjoyed exploring this modern take on the lives of our many characters. On the channel, we will be covering all of Demon Slayer Season 2, along with plenty of other Demon Slayer content, and so if you do not want to miss out on any of that, be sure to subscribe to Plot Armor with notifications on. Because when it comes to bringing you some of the best Demon Slayer content on the platform, Plot Armor has you covered. As always, I'm Slice of Otaku. Thank you all so much for watching and have an awesome day. I love you.